That was awesome. That was awesome. Um, one of my favorite wins since I've been here. A lot of adversity, AFC North game, bad weather, cold, windy. We fought through, found a way to win. What was the difference on that 93-yard drive and going through your line on that drive and how was it? Man, guys stepped up and made plays. TB, two big plays. Protection was great. Smaje, you know, fighting through tackles to get another touchdown. A lot of guys stepped up today. How would you describe your on-field with Samaje? It just seems like you guys have a good game. Samaje's just, one, obviously he's a great player. Steps up whenever his opportunity presents itself. And two, he's you know one of those locker room guys that, that everybody talks about. Great in the locker room, great guy to talk to, culture builder. Uh, he's fun to play with. What do you like about Trent Allen? Man, that guy, ever since I've been here, just he's in there foam rolling, catching tennis balls. You know, he hasn't had a ton of opportunities, but every single time that his opportunity comes, he makes a play. Um, I couldn't be happier for that guy. He just continues to show up when his opportunity presents itself, and you know, those are the kind of guys that Bengals football and the Bengals organization is all about. Jeff, you start your thoughts on uh, T. Higgins' performance today, and Zach told us that he was very communicative with him on the sideline where he was telling him what he what route he wanted because of what he was seeing on the field. Do you think that's the emergence of T kind of becoming um, a more mature into his own receiver? Yeah, T's, you know what you're going to get out of T every single week. Uh, he's a he's a big time player, number one in this league that works hard, understands his craft, and understands what he needs to do every week to get him ready, himself ready to play. Um, you know, I, I wish I could say that I was surprised about his performance, but this is what is expected of T at this point. Um, so I'm, he just continues to, to get better and better. Joe, you said one of, this is one of your favorite wins since you've been here. 92 and 93 yard drives for touchdowns will do that. Uh, what was it about those two drives that stuck out to you? Man, just all day, just overcoming adversity, fighting through, finding ways to get yards, get first downs, put points on the board. Um, Two, two interceptions that, you know, obviously <laughs> not much I can do about those. T.J. Watts, an unbelievable player. He just continues to make plays like that. And then uh, another tip ball. They do a great job getting their hands up, uh, understanding drops and, and, and reads. So just, you know, a lot of adversity today, a lot of a lot of great things from a lot of people. How did you counter that pressure? The, uh, how would you counter that pressure? I mean, uh, um, you know, they didn't give me You look like you were, you know, compared to the opener. Was, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, our guys did a great job up front. When you, you know, we, we we're a drop back team, and when you drop back as many times as we do, you're gonna have a lot of one on ones up front, and those guys won consistently all day. Joe, I know you're not much of a stats guy, but you you matched uh, Kurt Warner for third quickest to 10,000 per passing yards. What's it mean? to be in the record books with a guy that I know you know well and someone you have a relationship with and guys in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, something that something that I'm proud of. You know, I think that shows the kind of player I've been since I've been here. I got a lot of great people around me, obviously. Great coaches, great players. Uh, so it's a team effort, but uh, that's what I'm proud of. Social media team caught you saying that we're the big dogs like this after the game, but we're probably better. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll keep... I'll keep that one on the field. Maybe I'll we'll keep that one to myself. I mean, how, how good do you all feel now in getting that first division win? I mean, did this one feel maybe really differently than other wins at various points throughout the season? Yeah, you weren't in here yet, but I said, you know, this is one of my favorite wins since I've been here. Uh, just just a lot of adversity that, that we fought through. Cold weather, windy, that, you know, we were able to, to really throw the ball around in. Uh, and so I was I was proud of that. How much momentum do you feel like you guys have right now? You know, I think we're playing as good as anybody. We're, uh, we're, we're hitting our stride offensively. Uh, still left some points out there. There's always room to improve, obviously. But uh, you know, the last last couple of weeks, you know, apart from that Monday night game, we've we've been pretty lights out. What was going on with uh, no, no Jamar uh, for the game, and then Joe out for the second half? How much does that change the playbook, and what does it say about you guys that you're still able to be as effective as you were? Yeah, it really it really doesn't change the playbook much. Obviously, you know, Jamar not being out there is a, a big loss just because of how good he is. But, you know, Trent Irwin stepped up, made some big plays. Uh, Trent Taylor comes in and, and does a great job. Mike, Mike Thomas comes in and does a great job. And then TB and T continue to do what they do. So it doesn't change much, but it's always nice when you have that guy out there. Was that a testament to how good this offense structurally is kind of the idea of Mike Jamar out? Yeah, we 
I mean, we have we have great scheme, and we have guys that really understand the scheme, um, and so we can. We have so many reps invested in all these plays that we can make adjustments quickly on the sideline, and that's a testament to, to the guys and their hard work. It was a win that kind of showed your whole roster. I think if you woke up this morning and somebody said you're going to have four touchdown passes, three to Samaje and one to Trent, might yeah. have been the first answers. What, what, I mean, what does this mean? What does this show about your roster, the back of the roster? Just guys that work really, really hard and, and step up when their opportunity comes. You know, you never, you never know when it's going to come. And Trent Irwin and Samaj are two guys that work hard day in and day out. Special teams, you know, invested in their craft and can get better every single day, no matter whether they're getting the reps or whether they're not. Staying after getting, getting their opportunities. So I'm so happy for those guys. What's your favorite pass you made um, the out route to Trent and Irwin over there. You know, he. I think that shows the kind of confidence that he's playing with. You know, a lot of guys would take that ball and and go out to the go out of bounds and, and be happy with that, but he cut it back and, and got you know 25, 30 extra. Uh, I think that shows his confidence that he's playing with. I was on that 93 yard drive. When, when that drive starts, you backed up at your own seven. Are, are you a message guy? Is there a message delivering the huddle before that drive starts? No, we knew what what we had to do. We were up by. I think four at that point, we had to go down and score. Uh, it's always tough when you're backed up like that, especially with with that defensive line and this crowd we were playing in front of. Uh, but you know, but it's a, that's a big time drive. The 93-yard drive, the 92-yard drive, I think you guys faced one third down on those two drives, period. I mean, does that just kind of illustrate how the rhythm you guys were tonight? Yeah, we've, we've been really good on third down all year and obviously prefer not to, to have that many. No, I mean, that means that you're, you're being efficient on first and second down and, and, and moving the chains. I think the one you converted was the T. It was a third and four. That seemed to play the, uh, seemed to play the game going. He was one-on-one -on -one with a safety, I think. Uh, that seemed to play can't, the you going. can't picture that one, uh, but T stepped up all day. How much, did you, how much did your defense help you in the second half, getting three and outs, getting you guys right back on the field? Yeah, they got us the ball when they needed to. Um, our pass rushers continue to get pressure and make it tough on, on quarterbacks, but I will say that I think Kenny did a, a really good job today. I was very impressed with the way that he played. You know, Trent said he wanted to do a dance after his first NFL touchdown, <laughs> but he wasn't able to because what is it about him? And you were one of the guys that rushed to celebrate with him. What is it about Trent that he's so popular with his teammates? Just because everyone sees the work that he puts in. You know, he's in there long after everybody's gone. You know, working on his body, working on his craft, catching tennis balls. He's on the foam roller. He's always in the weight room. Um, so when when you have a guy like that that finds success, you know everyone's super happy for him. What was going on with the swing passes? Why were the swing passes? Why was I think there were two of them went for touchdowns? Yeah, we had a great scheme. Samaje, you know the the first one is not the didn't plan out the way we expected it, but you know that's sometimes how it works and checkdowns. End up being touchdowns sometimes just because you know you see a defense that maybe you didn't expect on a play that you schemed up, um, and Samaji went mid plays. Does anything ever Nick Pearson does surprise you at this point? No, he's. I think <laughs> I think everybody expects him to make every kick. He had 11 straight completions in the second half on those touchdown drives. Are you cognizant of that in the moment? And is that just a reflection of the sink that you, the offensive line, the receivers were at that point in the game? Um, you know, you're not really thinking about that at the time but you know some, it's great when it shakes out that way but sometimes it doesn't you gotta sometimes you gotta throw the ball away and you know get get out of harm's way but you know when you have when you have a, a stretch like that it's you know you're in rhythm. On the flip side the Steelers are kind of Kenny Pickett's kind of struggling to get wins in his rookie season what advice would you have for him or any first year quarterback that's starting that's kind of struggling to find his way as a first year starter? And I thought he did great today you know build off that momentum that that he showed today, you know, he's got some some young guys around him that he can build some chemistry with, and I think you know, he did a great job today. Uh, I told him after the game, continue to build off this one. How good did Jonah and LC play? Man, unbelievable. Jonah was locked down all day, and you know, when, the, when you're going up against T.J. Watt like LC was all day, and we dropped back the way that we are, and we didn't really help him that much. There weren't a lot of ribs and chips, um, so those guys were were unbelievable. You know, those TJ is gonna get one every now and then, but you know, LC was was lights out all day. And as you, you mentioned the Watt pit, but I mean, was that a play that you thought was humanly possible Man. when you threw it? <laughs> that guy, I mean, I 
I've never seen plays like that made before from a from a defensive lineman. He's made two against me this year. Uh, I would love to say that there's something I could do about that, but there's just nothing I can do about that. Can't work on that in the off season, though. No. <laughs> That, that first touchdown you threw to uh, Samaji on the screen, I mean, what did you think of the blocking? How much did that set the tone for the offensive line just moving forward from that point on? Yeah, our guys are great at those screens. Uh, they, We got big athletic guys up front that can get out and, and move and get out in space and, and get a body on a body. And then Samaji is also great at those screens. He showed in the AFC Championship last year, and he's shown it all year. Uh, so we, we, we love those plays. Same play? Was that the same play? Different play. Different play. We got to answer Cody. Oh yeah, you like this one? Yeah, I do. For pretty comfy too. Yeah. Favorite show? One of them? Definitely one of them. Good. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.